So the laws of motion, the mechanical laws of motion that Isaac Newton discovered and that God put in place to make things work on the earth describe that motion. The first law says that things will stay the way they are unless something acts on them to make them change. Now that may sound kind of silly, but it's pretty important. You know, when you push the cart, the cart moves and it will keep moving until something stops it, until it runs into the pillow. Or in this case, another thing that will stop it like that is friction. So the first law says things stay in motion until some outside force acts on it, or they stay put until some outside force acts on it. So if nothing pushes on that cart, it'll just stay there. And you say, well, I knew that. Well, of course you did, because you live on the earth, and you live according to the laws that God has given us. The second law that Newton discovered has to do with the way in which things move compared to their size, compared to how much mass they have. Not the volume, but how much mass they have. All right, now, we're going to reset this, and we're going to change the mass. And we'll do that by putting some weights on the cart. Now, what I'm doing here is that I am increasing the mass of the cart. There's more stuff there than there was before. And watch what happens now with the same force, because I'm not changing the force. I'm using the same plunger in the same setting that I had it before. Watch what happens. It doesn't go as fast, does it? And that's a pretty common sense thing. The force that you exert is equal to how much mass you have multiplied by the acceleration, how fast the thing takes off. And the third law says for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. And you saw that. When I pushed this thing in, what did the plunger do? It went that way, didn't it? So what does a cart have to do? Yeah, it has to go the other way. And that's called Newton's third law. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So when the plunger goes that way, the cart goes that way. And when the cart hits here, it bounced back. Because there, again, there was an action, there needed to be a reaction. 